Hi guys, this video is called How Not to Play Acoustic Guitar because we are focusing on strings that shouldn't be heard at certain times. So I'm only using open chords here because we need to master those fully if we're going to start looking at bar chords after that. Hey, by the way, stick around to the end of this video where I shall reveal a secret open chord that no one knows apart from quite a few people. So A major and A minor, they're both five string chords because A is the open string and that's the root note of the chord, that's the lowest note in the chord. So when I play A major, immediately I don't just think of these three fingers, I'm thinking about the thumb as well. The thumb is there, crucially, to block the E. Otherwise you have A slash E, which is fine. The A is the fifth of E. It doesn't sound bad, it's not like I'm, I'm putting in like an F in it. Imagine this. It's very different, because E is in the chord. So it's fine if you play it, and that's probably why you get away with it. But really, it would be it would sound a lot nicer if you had A as your root note. In a lot of country music, the old like bluegrass and things, you'll hear like alternating bass lines, so they go, and you can literally see my thumb coming up and down, or A minor. Basically, just the thing not only about the shape but what's being blocked. Uh, six string chords like G major, E major, E minor, there's no problems there because they're six strings. There's nothing to block at this stage, so we don't need to focus much on those. I will just mention that with G, uh, my, my favorite way to play G with an acoustic guitar is to play just with two fingers on the outside strings because we need the notes G, B and D. Just in that moment you have three Gs, one D and one B. I block the A string because I don't really like the sound of G and B so close together in the bass. It, it can work, but if you're just strumming... I don't love it. Uh, I'd rather leave it out. I just block the A string. Less is more. Uh, players like Jimi Hendrix and John Frusciante, they would uh, rarely play using all six strings. It would usually be a case of these four with either the A string or the E string in the bass. So I tend to adapt that idea of just five strings at any one time. It's like the idea that six is, should never really have six all at once. Unless maybe you're finishing a chord, like finishing a song, where you can give the, the chord lots of space, that kind of works. Um, it's just my opinion, that's how I feel about it. All right, look, if A major was all about blocking with your thumb, then C major is all about blocking with your ring finger. Um, I actually do use my thumb to block as well, I think, to be honest, out of kind of a habit. So it's really locked down. There's, there's just no way I'm going to let that string be heard. So... All right. Hey, by the way, I should just say, uh, keep your nails short. That's a crucial part of this. If you're really going to hear your chords well, having nails be short is so important. Right now mine are like a millimeter long and it's long enough to kind of kind of ruin my experience of playing right now. Like I'm not really loving this because I, I should have cut them first. And, and they are short though. Anyway, super short is worth it. Okay, we've looked at these major chords A, C and G. Let's look at F. Uh, technically a bar chord because you're used playing more than one string with one finger. But kind of crucial isn't it and the thing is it's tricky because you've got two open strings here now so if we're playing that F chord my third finger my ring finger is is blocking the A string and my thumb is blocking the E string not always successfully to be honest I, I often do press down and have the F in the bass so you might just find you can just play the F in the bass but if you're gentle with it you can get two blocked strings and then the rest of your chord's fine. Okay, lastly, for a good reason, D major or D minor. These are, these are tricky and there's no real easy way around them. Uh, I think sometimes YouTube doesn't really favor opinions such as you just have to work hard. There is no shortcut with this. I think this might be one of those times. D major 
I can't block the string above with my first finger because I need it. That's the open D string. I can block the E and the A is part of a D major chord, also part of a D minor chord. Look, we've got D, F sharp and A. So the A string doesn't sound out of place, but sometimes you, I'm just, the whole point of this video is to say let's be accurate. So you have D as a four string chord. A is there if you need it. You can get away with it sometimes. But really it's not very, it lacks clarity. It's, it's, it's ideal, if, especially if you're playing through like a PA or something where people really feel the bass. We want to hear D, obviously not A. The reason you might have got away with this in the past, like I say, is because A is part of the chord. Same with D minor. A is the fifth of both of these chords. So the only thing we really have to do is block that E string, because it does not sound nice when you play a D minor, for example, with an E in the bass. And you can get away with it, like it's not awful. Because E is the second note in the scale of D minor, so it's not horrendous, it's not like putting a G sharp in. That's not a great sound, is it? But um, there you go, so all you can really do is use your thumb to block the string. I'm fortunate to have quite big hands as a guitar player, so I actually sometimes will bring my thumb right around and, and block the E and the A. Maybe that's not so hard to do, see how you feel about that. But to be honest, I'm more likely to focus on the right hand at this moment. I've noticed myself doing it in, in thinking about how I might show people this video. When I play my chords like C, G, and I go to D and everything just gets a little smaller. If I can, I'll put my hand on the bridge. And I see, you have to make sure you don't lose any kind of power. Subconsciously, I feel like my head is going to look at my right hand to make sure that maybe that's it too, that the visual side of actually looking at what you're strumming and just trying to avoid that A string. This is a little bit silly, but I've said this to some people, I think it's kind of funny. Imagine if, uh, if you're playing D major. Imagine if you got a tiny electric shock every time you played, you know, like a, uh, people lick a battery or something. Imagine if you got a tiny electric shock every time you played the A string, you'd soon learn to avoid it. Um, if only we could uh, figure out a way for that to happen. Okay, that secret chord I mentioned earlier, by the way, is G minor. I'll show you how that works. We have three X, zero, three, three. And again, we have another X because the E string is blocked because if we play it, it becomes G minor six, which is a very cool chord, but it's a little bit distracting if you're just trying to play a normal minor chord. So yeah, G minor is awesome. I have to block the A string and the E string, but I get a really cool chord at the end of it. To be fair, you could play the G on the high string, but it means using four strings, uh, four fingers. Sometimes I'll, I'll use a kind of half bar and just with my third finger to play those three open D string and, and then the G in the bass. Um, sounds cool with F and C look. It's useful anyway, I like to think. Um, I use it quite a lot. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, there's a link to my Patreon below. Please check it out for some free tabs and all kinds of stuff. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again for another video. Until next time.